Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Today is May the 7th, 2020. So May the 7th, 2020 adds up to be 17. We have 17. One and seven is eight. So eight's going to represent what's going on with you today. Scorpio, you are also an eight. So eight's you and what's going on with you today. So eight's going to represent you today in the reading. Um, Pluto, intuition. Okay, your planet. Also, um, we have uh, water. That's your element. That's your emotions. Two and four. So we have patient perseverance, which is six. Your emotions. So adding up these numbers today, eight and nine. Complete manifestation. Eight and nine is 17. 17, new personal growth. Okay, breaks down to an eight. So eight, 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 eight. Okay, so today's all about Scorpio today is about manifestation, complete or complete manifestation. So that's your board. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. I haven't done you in a while, so I apologize. It's been crazy, crazy busy. Let's get started with numerology. Breaking it down, we're going to build from numerology as our base to tarot, from tarot to oracle, and um, at the end it'll come back to your board and it'll all pull together. I let the cards fall where they may. I have no control or put any effort into this, so it's all about the message you were meant to get, so I stay out of it. Only the cards that are popped up are the only cards that I'm drawn to pull so that you get the message you were meant to get today. Got a lot of cards, a lot of chit chat. Okay, seven and eight, seven and eight. So starting off already with your board, seven and eight. So we have spiritual partnership. Six and six, a star seed number, love upon love, healing. Oh, health warning, Scorpio. Health warning. Uh, health for you or someone connected to you. When I say connected to you, it's not your brother's cousin's neighbor. Okay? This is someone connected to you, like strong. Um, so think about that. If it's not you, who's directly connected to you? Um, it's a health warning. Um, eight and five, manifesting change. Okay, so all of your boards, eights, eights, eights. So manifesting change so that you can get what it is that you need and want. Karmic message coming through needs effort, takes effort, okay? And then six and three, love and um, creativity, communication, and collaboration. That's parenting. So for either Scorpio, you're a parent or about your parents, okay? So keep that in mind. And a parent could be, um, oh, well, I was raised by my grandma, or oh, my aunt raised me, or okay, whoever the parent is for you, or you're the parent, okay? Keep that in mind. The cards don't have Scorpio it was, was raised by an aunt card, okay? Keep that in mind. <laughs> I know that might sound ridiculous, but it's, trust me, <laughs> do tarot with people long enough and you have to explain things. Um, to a certain degree. Okay. Oh, those cards don't want to, don't want to go. All right. So I always take the cards that are like really standing strong first because those are the ones that are really um, drawn to and then I come back for the little guys after um, because they're just harder to get. Okay. I tap just to make sure. Oh, that one doesn't want to come out. Urgh. Okay, one here. Some of them are making it tricky for me to get. Okay, no, I missed one. That one wants out. 
Okay, we saved the bottom of the deck to refer back to later because there might be a story there. These are the cards that we're going to use and we're going to follow the order. Starting off, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six numerology cards. That is love. And then we have love and love, love and love and love. Okay. Starting off with the King of Wands. King of Wands is Leo energy. Uh, Leo is masculine and feminine because think about the female lion. She's not only the caretaker um, and runs the pride, the family, she's also the hunter. So both masculine and feminine on the Leo side. Um, we have the Hierophant, the master of keys, the communicator, ne need change, healing, change. Um, here we have a six of wands, uh, love in action, love in action. When we have the six of wands, keep in mind a couple of things. Um, it's progress, it's victory achieved, um, but we have it falling under a health issue. So if we look into this health issue and pay attention to it, we'll see that um, you can come out from underneath that. Six of Pentacles, again, emotion having to do with home or family. Pentacles is home or work. Uh, partner at home, partner at work. Family or money, it's one or the other. All the cards are literal or figurative. So you just have, we just have to figure out which is which. This is following under, follow your dreams. Knight of Pentacles, bringing forth a message having to do with home or work, carrying forth a pentacle, a coin, um, looking down, looking over, okay, so effort, thinking about is it worth the effort. Next, we have karma needs to change for the three, we have six and three, love and three, parenting, something needs to change, completely change, that may have to do with something over here. Next, we have the Page of Pentacles. So see here, we have the gentleman thinking about this. We have an admirer. We have an admirer looking over that coin. So spiritual partnership. Next, we have karma changing. Karma changing under healing, justice. And then we have under health, nine of pentacles. Nine being complete, pentacles, home or work. This is representing happy success everything going well so in order for this to happen we do have health so we have health but it can be changed because look at all this good stuff under that health issue now if you look here i'm missing three cards that means i need to go to the bottom of the deck and see what's going on so under following your dreams manifesting change karma needs to change for two Karma needs to change for two people. The star is the green light to make things happen. A pouring out of emotions. Make a wish upon a star kind of thing. Follow your dreams. Dreams. Under effort, we have the king of pentacles. Again, with the pentacle. We have the pentacle here and the pentacle here. So, effort. Making the effort. Strong effort to get what it is that you need and want. And you will be successful. Next, under parenting, we have five of cups, needing to change emotion, very sad, loss, grief, something under parenting. Now, this bothers me because we have parenting, death, and grief. This is concerning for me, Scorpio. So, um, here's the thing. Um, okay, let's stop right here, and let's take a look at what we have before we go further, okay? So, under spiritual career, we have the king of wands and the page. So, strong um, masculine energy, Leo energy here with um, the page admiring. So, spirit manifesting. If we have spirit manifesting, asking for healing, needing change, injustice, this health card having to do with maybe either preventing this from happening... Or if we address that, this will happen. Next, we have um, manifesting change, six of pentacles. That represents the sharing of wealth or pride. Pride could be ego or family. Okay, Leo prides family. 
for Scorpio pride could be ego. Okay, so in ego, uh, six represents emotion or love, and pentacles is job or work. So um, we need balance. So we need balance here. And over here we have justice, balance, and a sharing of wealth. And following your dreams. Karma needs to change for two, two people. And uh, then we have this gentleman coming here, holding the pentacle, holding the pentacle, holding the pentacle. So we have pentacle, 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 pentacle. So something going on, home or work. And I'm feeling like... Um, This is home, Scorpio. This is home. This isn't work. This isn't work. This is home. This is family. Something's going on. And I... Something's going on. It's a bit concerning for me. So let's go one more row. We have the Queen of Pentacles coming in. So the Queen and the King coming through for this effort. Okay? Okay spirit under healing the tower coming down karma changing for the individual um under health we have the fool we have spirit coming through i get that health don't be a fool we have to deal with that um then we have the nine of cups coming through another nine um that nine of cups is happy success so we have some good things happening here okay so it's interesting. There's good stuff and other stuff going on. Um, <clears throat> 13, karmic message, strength. Change for the three. So we have three and three again. Three and three. Change for the three. So... Leo energy again. Leo energy. Gee, Scorpio, what is going on? And then lastly, we have the moon coming through. We have some conflict happening. Emotional issues. Karma needs to change for the three. Again, karma needs to change for the three. And then this is also eight. Five and three is eight. Manifesting change. So we need change in strength. And we need karma needs to change for the three. Again with that three. So... This right here is concerning. Well, Scorpio, here's what I'm going to say. Number one, the first thing you need to do is you need personal readings because we need to figure out exactly what's going on. If this is resonating with you, Scorpio, then go to my video of how to get a free reading. Follow those instructions because we need to figure out What's going on? Now, if you're a Scorpio and you know exactly what this is, you don't need a reading. You know. You got this. You know exactly what's happening. Okay? Um, with this going on and this going on, I'm a little concerned about it. So I'd rather get to the bottom of that. If you already know exactly what that is, then you got that message. Okay, so we have 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 18. The beginning of manifestation. 1 and 8 is 9. Remember our board? Okay, so we have 8 and 9. Manifestation complete. This is 1 and 8. 1 plus 8 is 9. So remember I told you that board, this, this is that. Okay, so coming through in there. So manifestation complete or complete manifestation. One of those two is um, the uh, message that's coming through here. So um, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, eighteen. So we have eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty three, twenty four. 24. So right now we have a total of 24 cards. 24 cards right here. Two and four. That's your element. That's what's going on. This is emotionally, emotionally what's going on with you right now. Okay. This is what's completely manifested. And this is what's going on with you emotionally. Okay. So let's get into 
Oracle. Oh, cards don't want to connect. Okay. Wow. Okay, why are we not wanting to work today? Cards don't want to be shuffled, apparently. Okay. Got it. Mind you, it's not the cards. The cards are just cards. It's the energy that I'm putting through. It's like they're saying, like, it doesn't need any more. It's like, it's good. Okay. So, here's the Oracle message. Three and four. Um, effort and perseverance is personal growth. Be here now. Be here now. Be here in this moment. Be here now. Figure out what's going on now. Three and six. Um... Effort in love. There's always enough. There's always enough. Three and six is nine. Complete. Complete. Three and three. Communication. Communication. Freedom is yours. You're free to communicate. So right now there's enough communication. Right now there's enough communication. And we have three. So three is creativity, communication, collaboration. Okay? So now we have three. So we have 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We have 27. So we have um, uh, patience and personal growth. Patience and personal growth. Um, let's see here. Two. Yes. Um, again, having to do with two. Um, two people, patients, patients are two people. So this might have to do more with... Um, partnership persevering through in partnership um either patience or partnership it's either one of the two one of the two wow okay well scorpio um yeah if you want a personal reading please go to my video about receiving a free reading um on my channel that you're on currently just go to videos and it'll be under free tarot reading and just follow the instructions that are spelled out very clearly of how to get a free reading and then we'll get into this and we'll figure um, this out if you are don't already know scorpio i'm pretty sure you've already figured this out though i just have just have a feeling that you know exactly what that was about okay well scorpio Thank you for showing up for your reading today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I try to get to every sign um, at least once a week the best that I can. And I do um, the free personal readings um, whenever there's a spot available. They fill very quickly. By the way, if you're international, I cannot return your text or calls because I can't absorb fees for you. I'm sorry, I just can't. So if you're international, um, it just makes it a little too difficult to do readings. So I apologize for that. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.